Hey everyone, so today we're going to be diving into the world of cloud engineering and I'm going to be answering some of the most common questions people have about what cloud engineers actually do. Let's get into it. So what exactly is a cloud engineer? So a cloud engineer, there is an IT professional who specializes in cloud computing technologies. That's really it. You know, they're not this magic guru. They're not actually working in a cloud. Really all a cloud is, is another person's computer. So cloud engineers are responsible for designing, implementing, maintaining cloud-based systems and infrastructure. Essentially, they're helping organization move operations from like how we used to do it, which was considered on-prem to in the cloud, which is nowadays more efficient, more cost-effective, overall it is a better strategy. So what are the main responsibilities of a cloud engineer? This is a great question. Typically responsibilities can vary depending on organization, but generally they include designing and implementing cloud infrastructure, migrating existing systems to the cloud, ensuring security and compliance in cloud environments, optimizing cloud performance and costs. That one's really, really important. I'm gonna highlight that one a bit later. Uh, five, troubleshooting, resolving cloud related issues and staying up to date with the latest trends, technology, best practices, cloud cloud technology, best practices. Uh, but let's talk about optimizing cloud performance and cost real quick. That one is so important because what ends up happening, if you're at a company that is very lean, at some point you're gonna start scaling, auto scaling, taking down DBs, figuring it out when you have high traffic. There's gonna be time where you have a boat load of money and there might be a time where you don't have a lot of money. And when it comes to cloud, the one thing that's really most critical when it comes to, hey, what do I do as an engineer? As I make sure that I keep things as cost effective and cost efficient as possible. So what skills do I need to become a cloud engineer? So to become a cloud engineer, you need a mix of technical and soft skills, strong understanding of cloud platforms, AWS, Azure, Google Cloud, those are the big three. Uh, proficiency in a programming language. For me, Java, Kotlin are my go-tos. You might be Python, JavaScript, this is something. You just need to be good at a programming language. Uh, knowledge of networking security principles. You don't need to be an expert, but you need to at least understand how the internet works, how data works, how databases, what APIs, what, how a request works. Just some basic things, risk assessment, hackers, OWASP standards. Again, I'm saying a lot, but you just need to have some knowledge of networking and security principles. Experience with containerization, orchestration, Docker, Kubernetes. Those things are going to be essential when it comes to cloud development. Familiarity with DevOps practices and tools. Usually people think cloud. Cloud for some people, some organization, it just kind of the DevOps responsibility. Some people don't have cloud engineer, they have DevOps. So it might be different for you. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys actually go through. Problem solving, analytical thinking, excellent communication skill, things of that nature, guys. Question number four, do cloud engineers only work with public cloud providers? Not necessarily. While many cloud engineers work with public cloud providers like AWS, Azure, GCP, they can work on private clouds. They can work on hybrid clouds. They can work in like an on-prem hybrid situation. That's actually one of the things you need to understand as you try and get cloud certified. It's how do you work on-prem? How do you work in the cloud? How do you want maybe a public private cloud situation? You need to be able to know how to set those things up. How does a cloud engineer differ from a traditional IT role? The main difference, my opinion, is cloud technologies and the scale at which they operate, they have to deal with distributed systems, automation, and scalability at a much larger scale than traditional IT role. So when we're talking about requests, we're not talking about one, two, three requests. We're talking thousands to half a million to a million requests. You know, configuration management tools, understanding that we don't have physical hardware, so we need to understand, in theory, what we have but cloud represented. Meaning, we don't have the physical hardware, what's the cloud version of what we used to have? And last question, what or how do cloud engineers contribute to organization success? Cloud engineers, they play a crucial role in helping organization reduce the IT infrastructure costs. That's the main big key winner there. Improve scalability, flexibility, enhances asset recovery and business continuity. Here's my favorite one. Enhance remote work collaboration. There's a whole bunch of others. I highly suggest you go look up what are the benefits of cloud? But by leveraging cloud technologies effectively, you help businesses become more agile, efficient, competitive, and you ready to break into the space. So I hope this video answered some of your questions about cloud engineers and what they actually do. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this content, you guys know what to do. That's all I got for you. Tech out.